Hello friends, this time we are going to test a small sized brand new product for budget conscious users which is implemented on Intel H170 chipset. Intel H170 chipset is an excellent alternative to the leading Z170 set in terms of functionality unless you are planning the CPU overclocking and installing two graphics cards. Many users are likely to show specific interest in motherboards on the basis of Intel H170 with support for DDR3L memory 1.35V and DDR3 memory 1.5V or higher. Although, you should remember that Intel does not recommend using DDR3 modules because eventually it can lead to the controller breakdown and the processor replacement, and you are not going to have such problems with DDR3L modules. The hero of our review is motherboard Gigabyte GIH170M83 DDR3. It has a relatively affordable price and features a very interesting combination of fair facilities, high quality and a number of trademark technologies, which notionally makes it a good option to choose LGA 1151 platform. In addition, you won't have to spend extra for purchasing DDR4 RAM. The motherboard comes in a box of dark yellow colors. Major part of the front side is covered by the logo of Ultra Durable Trademark Concept. The reverse side of the package includes description of the key features and supported technologies, as well as a scheme of interface panel and short specifications. The motherboard supply set is as follows. The new product is based on Micro ATX printed circuit board with a reduced width of up to 174 mm. Its design is rather strict and restrained and of very soft colors, which is generally consistent with the declared price marketing. As for the onboard components layout, location of ports and connectors won't hinder the system assembly. Although the IMM slots are equipped with latches on both sides, they have a sufficient distance from the video card slot and SATA 3.0 and SATA Express ports are parallel to the board surface. The bottom side has the following components. Connection pad of front panel audio connectors, S slash PDIF out, COM, LPT and TPM ports, front panel connection pad and a jumper for CMOS reset. Additionally, we have to mention two available pads for activation of USB 2.0 port. In total, the board chipset implements six USB 2.0 ports and six USB 3.0 ports. The disk subsystem arrangement is implemented by means of M.2 socket 3 connector, two SATA 3.0 ports and two SATA express ports, each of which is compatible with two SATA 3.0. There is also support for various RAID arrays. The system board has two DIMM slots for DDR3 and DDR3L memory modules. It supports planks with frequencies of up to 1866 MHz. The maximum memory capacity can be up to 32 GB. Also, the right side has a socket for connecting remote panel with USB 3.0 ports. During the testing of the motherboard coolant system, we recorded the following temperature readings. As you can see, the temperature of the processor power subsystem components is quite high due to the lack of radiators, also it is still far from crucial values. The CPU is powered by a six-phase scheme for cores and additional components. There are four PCI slots to extend the motherboard functionality, which include one PCI Express 3.0 for installing a graphics card. The network connections is supported by Gigabit LAN controller and you can also set network access priorities by means of C4 Speed Internet Accelerator software, which is available for download on the motherboard support page. The sound subsystem of the new product is based on 8-channel HDA codec, its binding structure includes Japanese audio capacitors of high quality and the audio channel is isolated from interference of other components. Also, modern fans will appreciate availability of LED backlight. The interface panel of the tested model includes the following ports. Such layout can be considered an appropriate option for a relatively inexpensive motherboard. Special features include an inconvenient connection of multi-channel speakers. 
The inside layout of the cooling system includes two 4-pin fan connectors, one of which is used for cooling the CPU, while the second one is designed for the system fan. As for the BIOS, the tested product is equipped with modern UEFI firmware, which is based on AMI microcode. All the settings, which are related to the key system components, are conveniently grouped in MIT section. The memory frequency multiplier ensures speed adjustment of the connected modules within the range from 800 to 1866 MHz. This motherboard doesn't have overclocking facilities, like all of those modules that have been in our test lab before it. The maximum RAM frequency has reached the claimed 1866 MHz. Motherboard Gigabyte GIH170M HD3 DDR3 is a fairly affordable and reasonable solution in its segment for branching to LGA1151 platform. Also, its key advantages include DDR3 and DDR3L memory support, and thus you have no need to spend extra for purchasing new DDR4 modules. Its other benefits include M.2 Socket 3 interface support, two available SATA Express ports, as well as the conventional high quality of Gigabyte design. We have to consider other specific features such as an inconvenient connection of multi-channel speakers and only two available RAM slots. Also, we would like you to know the unavailable processor and RAM overclocking, which is a common specification of all the modules based on Intel H170 chipset. As a result, this motherboard can be recommended for assembling a compact and relatively inexpensive system with a single graphics card or even without it. Subscribe to our channel and see you soon. Bye-bye!